we're BSAC and we're here talking to all our members. We've seen lots of people already this morning and we've got all of our clubs here so it would be great for you to go and meet some of them. Uh, but I mean the best thing really is just getting us all together talking about diving and all of our members here. The British Forces Foundation exists to raise the morale of troops, serving troops, serving overseas and serving in bases all over the world and in the UK. And we do that primarily through high quality entertainment. Well, the most popular of the troops is always um, Catherine Jenkins, um, stunning lady, obviously, and a, and a massive supporter of the forces. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about solo diving, which has always been a very controversial topic in diving. Uh, but in the last couple of years, solo diving has come out of the closet, which is the, the title of the talk. It's become a much more accepted practice. Uh, and now with mainstream agencies having solo or self-sufficient diver courses, now's the time I thought it would be useful to have a, an intelligent discussion about solo diving. That dive show seems uh, busy as ever and uh, I've felt a keen sense of anticipation about this dive show, been, been really looking forward to it. So I've been working down in Cornwall as a fisherman for six months for the next series. So, uh, you know, I've been looking forward to coming to Birmingham and having a latte and, uh, you know, uh, meeting up with all my old muckers again at the dive shows. Uh, Great Irish Escape, I've uh, had a lot of really nice feedback from the diving fraternity because I think there was, there was a good conservation message in it and also the sort of research work in terms of tagging the, the basking sharks and the photo idea of the dolphins and things. Um, so it's been really nice, a lot of positive feedback from divers. I'm here at the dive show talking about underwater photography to show how people can take fantastic photographs with just a simple compact camera. It's a fantastic show, um, lots of visitors, um, lots of interest in underwater photography here in the photo zone and it's just been amazing. At the dive show I'm talking about Britain's secret seas and every time I do this talk about Britain's secret seas with the UK diving community I want to get down on my knees and thank them because it was the UK diving community that helped get this thing going. So I'm going to talk about the programme itself and what I've been up to in the last 12 months. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, it was very good. It was very different. I say it was a very bizarre experience, not having, I say, the bubbles or the, you know, and the buoyancy controls totally different. So, uh, so yeah, it's very good. I think you know, you spot things here that you just wouldn't even know exist. Sort of thing. You know, you can pick up ideas on kits, uh, kit, and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, very good. The best thing I've had about the dive show this year, it's the second or third one I've been to, is the kind of pro dive route conversations I've had with the British Virgin Islands stands and Mike Rowe in particular, and Pete over at Clips of Diving in Lanzarote. Wonderful guys, wonderful information I've received. Great seminars, Mac S. Stone and Paul Rose for the Britain's Secret Seas. Looking forward to Lids next year. Yeah.